Avengers! Assemble. Welcome back to the channel. It's the Preventers, you guys, and welcome back to another Marvel Future Fight video. And as you can see by the title today, we're going to be telling you how to figure out which CTP is best for your character and or which CTP you need for your character. But before we get into today's video, if you do enjoy what you see here, you do find this video helpful, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, guys. It helped me out tremendously. We are trying to hit our 1,000 subscriber goal so we can join the Marvel Future Fight Star Creator Club today. Um, so hitting that subscribe button would be a huge help to get us there. Anyways, let's get straight into what we were talking about. So in Marvel Future Fight in the past, people have always tried to figure out which CTP is best for their character. Um, and to do that, they would either go talk to their favorite content creator or they'd go watch the bigger content creators like um, Beast Mode Gaming or Cynic Alex and watch their videos on which CTPs are best for which characters. Now, both those options are still great. I'm not going to tell you not to go watch your favorite content creators or not to talk to them on Discord, Twitch, YouTube, whatever platform. Um, but there is an easier way now where you don't have to go out of your way. Now, it's not 100% perfect, but it is good and it is reliable. Um, but if you want uh, reassurance on which CTP, then, of course, go continue watching those content creators. But anyways, I'm going to show you right here how you can figure out which CTP is best for your character in Marvel Future Fight. If you go over to the tab, you can go to rankings, and they have recently updated the CTP rankings. And I'm not 100% sure what exactly they did, but they drastically changed it. So beforehand, it would show you which CTP um, most players are putting on those characters. And for almost all the characters, CTP of Transcended was number one or all the way up there. And now it has drastically changed to which CTPs are actually the best for these characters. And you only see CTP of Transcended on characters that are really bad or just not used at all. So my main theory is that they went and got a smaller pool of players, maybe whales, maybe uh, constant players. I don't know what, but they changed the amount of players that they see um, which CTPs are on those characters because it matches way too well now. Um, the other theory is that maybe just as Marvel Future Fight players, we have gotten smarter and we know now that the CTP Transcendent is bad. So we put on the CTPs that are actually really good for characters. That could also be a possibility. I'm not 100% sure. And then my final theory is maybe they just completely switched it up and said, we're going to make this ranking show which CTP is actually best for each character. I'm not sure because like I said, I didn't even notice this till the other day. Um, they didn't really say anything about changing it, but um, that's why the theory of us getting uh, just smarter and putting better CTPs on might be the best theory. Because from when this first came out, they told us that it'd be showing us which CTPs most people are putting on that character. So who knows? But if you look at this, it is so accurate for PvP and PvE. So if we look at Carnage here... He has a CTP of Rage at number one, so if you want to take him for PvE. Now, I think um, that's not 100% accurate because he is better for Timeline Battle and Otherworld Battle, which will benefit him a lot more if he has a CTP of Refinement or CTP of Greed. So that's what I'm saying. It's not 100% accurate, but for the most part, it is. It gives you a general idea. Um, if you need a better idea or 100% reassurance, that's when I'd say go look at your content creators. Um, but it's, it's still pretty accurate. If we look at Sharon here, she has CTP of Energy at number one. CTP of Rage at second, and then Patience. I think the Rage is um, better in GBR, but the Energy is still better in World Boss Legend content, so it makes sense. Cyclops here has a CTP of Rage at number one. It's pretty tied with the CTP of Insight, which is what I would say is the best CTP for Cyclops because he is a straight support um, slash lead character. And if we look at someone who is mainly PvE, so if we go look for Iron Man, it's pretty obvious that Iron Man is the um, best with the CTP of Rage. And sure enough, your 81% shows CTP of Rage, followed by Destruction and Energy, which I would say are the two best backup options if you can't get a Rage for Iron Man. See how accurate it is? It's definitely changed somehow. Or like I said, maybe we've gotten smarter. But they all are the same. Gene is a pretty interesting one. 
At number one is CTP of Greed, meaning most of you guys are using a balanced sort of hybrid build um, between PvE and PvP, which is very possible if it is going based off of you guys putting CTPs on. And then it's followed by a Rage and a Refinement. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, I would really like to know how they actually did this um, or if anything has actually changed. Maybe because um, there's less of us or maybe because there's more content creators now. I don't know. Um, maybe that's what's caused it to change. But it does seem with newer characters, it's still learning how to balance out. Because Adam Warlock still has number one at energy. Um, I don't think it's the best CTP for him uh, anymore with the brand new uniform. I think um, the greed or the authority is going to be better. But um, you can see they're starting to be used more. Greed is now number two. Patience is number three. And kind of everything else is tied from there on out. Um, but you know that a lot of people did have the CTP of energy on him for when his new his new uniform, uh, the older one, when that one first came out, um, he had a CTP of energy um, on everybody. Everybody had a mighty CTP of energy on him. So that's probably why it's still at 85%. Um, I would think, though, that as more time goes on, we're only a couple, we're about three weeks since this update had dropped uh, for Adam Warlock. So I think as time goes on, we'll see uh, the CTPs change more. Um, and as content creators tell you which CTP is better. So yeah, both options of going to talk to content creators are still um, like 100, like better, I would say. But this is a very easy way for you to check and get reassurance on which CTP is good for which characters. So I would definitely check this out if you're having a hard time deciding which CTP to give your character. Or if you're having a hard time deciding which CTP to go after for your certain character, um, it is very helpful indeed. But yeah, that's how you figure out which CTP is best for your characters in Marvel Future Fight just by going into the game without having to go look um, for other separate videos or do any other research on your own. Like I said, not 100%, um, I would say, like uh, accurate. I think there's some that are a little off and some you're still going to need other people's opinion on. But it'll give you the best idea you need um, and tell you pretty much the basis of which CTP is best. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video or you did find it helpful, like I said at the beginning of the video, then please make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when our video drops live next. And that'll do it for me today, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Take care.